Do you remember when, like, it was hot for girls to have fake tits and no ass? Like, Adriana La Serva? No. From Who's Sopranos? Adriana? No, I never thought that was attractive. But that was, like, a very 1990s thing. No, yeah. Not no ass. See, that's the thing. When people say no ass, it's just yeah, a small ni- 90s ass. women were trash. Just, like, stringy, blonde, like, bleached out, shitty hair. Yeah. yeah. Fake I mean, tits and no ass. I certainly ass. Pre- prefer a thicker woman. I used to be friends with this guy, Connor, when I was, like, a teenager. And Connor was like telling this story one time. He was like such a funny dude. I wish I kept in, in contact with that guy. He was like, I fucked him. He was like, he's like, yeah, I was down in Florida a couple of weeks ago, and I, uh, I hooked up with these two uh, really methy looking chicks. <laughs> Just fucking platinum blonde hair. It looks like they cut it with safety scissors. <laughs> he's like, uh, we spent the whole week there. I guess they were freon addicts, so they were showing me how to. <laughs> You know, rip the pipes out of an air conditioner. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> They're like raccoons. They're yeah. like the fuck. Yeah, Freon addicts. <clears throat> what do you even do with Freon? You suck it? You huff it, yeah. You suck them tubes. Oh, yeah. Girl. <laughs> like My friend Freons. that used to do a lot of drugs told me that one way to get really high for not a lot of money is ga- is gas. Like gasoline. Just yeah. Huff really? Have you seen Love, Liza? No. Oh, man. That's such a good movie. You'd love it. It's Philip Seymour Hoffman. And he plays this guy whose wife had just, she's just killed herself, like at the beginning uh-huh. of the movie. Yeah. And she's left him a letter and he like can't bring himself to read it. So, you know, he's at work and he's fucking up and he just like can't stay focused. And they're like, man, maybe you should take a break. And then he's just sitting in his house and like he's like half cleared out. And uh, he's like trying to clean the house to get ready to move out of it because he just can't deal with it. And he just takes, picks up like the rag, you know, he's like cleaning with. Mm-hmm. And just, he gets into huffing. Yeah. And oh, then damn. He eventually he graduates to gas and then he needs a way to justify his uh, gas addiction. So he gets really <laughs> into like RC planes. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like him getting really into RC planes and becoming like progressively more and more retarded from the gas. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. What did the letter say? Uh, I he reads it at the end. I, f- I forget. I haven't seen the movie in like ten years, but it's really good. What if the letter was like, "I fucked all your friends"? Yeah, don't be sad about it. It's like whatever you do, don't do gas. <laughs> <laughs> wow, deep. Whoa, whoa, dude. That's like Came sort of full circle. Memento, profound. Yeah. yeah. What you guys favorite movie? Mine's Memento. Is it? No, I don't have. I don't know. What, I, I saw never a guy on a say. bus once that had like. Tattoos from Memento no. on his body. What a douchebag, right? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, yeah. Dick. I was on a bus in Manhattan, and that's terrible. Terrible. Dude. Yeah, John Q killed my wife or whatever. Yeah, that's stupid as John shit. John Q. What's his name? No, not that's, John Q. Yeah. <laughs> not the Denzel. My son movie. is going to get a heart transplant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen to me, Jake. <laughs> Jake. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! <laughs> it's like, yeah, Denzel. How about just don't laugh in the movie? <laughs> yeah. It's not convincing. Anyone. You think he had the worst laugh? I think I still think Ray Liotta's got the worst laugh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's like it's, it's, it's a terrible, terrible fake laugh. Yeah, I think I think uh, we all have really good laughs. Yeah, well, those are real. I'm talking yeah. about fake movie laughs. Yeah, the actors who can't laugh. Hmm, who else? Who else can't laugh, boys? Uh, people listening to this podcast. Oh, uh, snap. Whoa, Whoa, what the fuck, man? Shut up, bitch. Shut up, Nick, you motherfucker. Well, I'm just being honest. You little bitch-ass bitch. You're the fucking bitch here, pal. Dude, take it back. Do not try me. Take it back. I'll fucking stuff that dumb shirt right up your ass. What dumb shirt? You're wearing your fucking comedy knockout shirt you're wearing for eight days. This is a free shirt, bitch. It's laundry week. I'm also wearing shorts. Yeah, you gotta. I gotta fold all my clothes and put them away, then I'll change. How many clothes do you own? Um, a, a decent amount. Two pants. I don't have many pairs of pants. Eight shirts. True. I got. I got into. I bought a pair of like uh, Levi's, like Dickies, like uh, I guess Chicos or mm-hmm. whatever. And I found them again. They're great. Chinos. Chinos. Chicos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the fuck they're called. Chicos. Chinos. Bitch. They're not called Chicos. That's a place. It's retard. a fucking place. It's, it's still a, a word. It's a, it's a word I store. say <laughs> once a year. I'm My allowed aunt to used to wear it. Yeah. They have like fucking chinos. tropical. What the fuck clothing. are they called? That they're called work pants. No, Why did we decide we're going to let uh, a different race <clears throat> tell us what our pants are called? Well, it's, na- it's Latino for Chinese. For Chinese, yeah. Yeah. the yeah. hardest workers. What well, Latino from the got railroads. too many damn words. They call. <laughs> so. They call like that's like a. Uh, excuse me, but I am Chicano. It's like, well, you're not Latino. It's like, yeah, I'm not too. I'm like, well, which <laughs> well, one? Latinx. Yeah, Latinx. I like that. 
oh, yeah. Spanish robot. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here's here's you know what? Spanish here, guy if from the if there's anyone still listening to this episode, here's uh here's a good Photoshop challenge for you. Uh, I came up with this one. If you want to try and draw uh, R2 Chew Two. <laughs> It's a uh, it's a Chinese robot covered in ants and slime. <laughs> what? It's Arthur Chu is a robot. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, R two R R two Chu two. R two Chu two. Yeah, just put his face covered yeah, in yeah, ants, fa- beating got off. Time. He got a divorce. It's funny. We I think we shit on him for that already. Yeah. The thing, nothing. This is what sucks is that like there's nothing really to talk about except all this bullshit politics stuff know, that Adam and likes, sucks. and it's not fun. I don't want to talk about you it. You always dude. want to talk about it. No, I don't. You always try and figure out a way to bring it up. That's why we had to kick you off the show. Yeah, dude. I know. I'm sorry. I'm really glad you guys had me back. But... No, you're you're the guest this week. Yeah, I'm glad. We won't be back. We don't know who we're going to book next week. It's going to be Weave. <laughs> we're going to replace Adam with Weave, and he's going to be the third chair on the podcast. We're all going to move to Serbia. <laughs> Is that where he lives? Yeah, he lives in exile. Really? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. He's like Bobby Fischer. If he has a Twitter of, account, instead though. Of, instead of chess, Bobby Fischer was just initially good at being racist. As well. yeah. He's a prodigy. <laughs> There's no turn. <laughs> he just <laughs> cut out the middle man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just went right for racism. Just for right for Jews control everything. He's a, he's a weird ass dude, fucking Bobby Fischer, man. Yeah. Have you seen that that documentary about him? Finding Bobby Fischer? No, I think that was a movie, right? Yeah, it was. That's where You're the Man Now Dog comes from. No, no, really? that's Finding Forrester. That's Finding Forrester. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're the Man Now Dog. You're the Man Now Dog. You wow. stupid that, motherfucker. That revolutionized the internet. That you're dumb the man website. Now, dog? Yeah, that was like a huge thing is is you're the man now dog. That's a website? It was a website. Somebody made a website, You're the Man Now Dog, and it was just a picture of Sean Connery mm-hmm. repeating all oh, the page. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like text coming out of the screen that says you're the man now dog. <laughs> and on a loop him saying, You're the man now dog, you're the man now dog. You're... And then the guy who owned that website set it up so other people could create that where you'd like pick the image, pick the right, words, right, right. And mm-hmm. Oh yeah, the sound I remember clip. that shit. And that was like you know, before memes or whatever, that was a huge website where people would create those mm-hmm. You're the Man Now dog things. Right, right, right. And uh, and the guy that owned that website also owned DustinDiamond.com. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's like official website of international sex symbol Dustin Diamond. <laughs> and this was before like the sex video had come right, out. Right, right, right. So it was just like he was just Screech. Yeah, he was just Screech. Right, right, and it was right. like home of international sex symbol. And fucking Dustin Diamond sued the guy that owned the website for control of the domain. And the guy that owned the domain was like 24. His name was Max something. I forget. And he like uh, represented himself in the suit and like successfully convinced the judge. He's like, no, it's obviously a joke. He doesn't own the domain. He didn't buy it. He had plenty of time to buy it. And like nobody thinks of him as a sex symbol. So it's clear parody. And the judge is like, yeah, I don't see why anyone would want to fuck this man. So I guess you're right. (laughs) Dustin Diamond, I, he, this might have changed, but as of like, you know, 10 years ago, he was the only person to ever lose a suit like that. <laughs>